Wednesday. Can you believe it? Another week halfway done. I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? My name is Boris. I work for Joe Gibbs Racing, in case you haven't figured that out. And today, we're going to draw. We're going to draw something special, because this weekend, we're racing at Kentucky Speedway. I'm going to see who's watching. Tune in here. See how everything's looking. We've got a lot of blue themes going on today. we got a blue shirt, blue hat, blue auto owners die cast here. Didn't go so great at Indy, but uh, we're going to the Bluegrass State this weekend, Kentucky, to do some racing. Who else is pretty excited about that? I am. It's a good track. A lot of great fans there. If you're like me, you're staying indoors, staying inside, staying safe. Can't have the fans at the track. I can't go to the track, but we're making the most of it by doing some drawing, and today we're going to draw the very special Kentucky Speedway Trophy which is a horse-shaped trophy. We've drawn a lot of animals on this race car drawing show, and uh, which is surprising to me, but they're all related to tracks, like the fox for Pocono, had the eagle at Pocono. I mean, we could probably draw a moose and a bear at Pocono. No, no, we had a bear for Atlanta and Bass Pro Shops. What else do we do? Of course, the fish for Bass Pro Shops, the eagle for the 4th of July. Yeah, we've done a lot of animal drawings, so why not one more? A horse this time. Well, let me show you what we're going to draw. There's Devin out there. Yep, Jimmy Johnson's coming back. That's good. There's Danny. There's Sean. Happy Wednesday. There's Christy in Louisiana. Donna Lee in Florida. Thank you all for watching. Let me show you the pictures we're going to draw, and then we will get straight into it. You know, Joe Gibbs Racing has won a few races at Kentucky Speedway. And here is... Here is uh, one, now this is before JGR, but Martin Truex has won at Kentucky Speedway in the auto owner's car. Look at that horse trophy. Can you see it? See how it's shaped? Like the head of a horse and you got the checkered flag? That's what we're going to draw today, okay? Truex has won there. We also won when uh, Kenseth drove for us there. And of course Kyle has won there. There's that trophy. Did you ever think you draw a horse? on a race car drawing show? Well, it's related to racing, so let's get started. Are you ready? Get your pen and paper, or your colored pencils, or your crayons, or whatever you want to draw with. I'm on an iPad with the Procreate app, and I think it's time to get started. I'm going to start out with a line down here that's going to create the base for our trophy. Alright, there you go. It's a little bit curved, not perfectly straight, but it's not really a smiley face. It's just kind of a little grin, you know? Not a, not a big smiley face. That's the, that's the curved line we're going to draw. I'm going to read some more comments while you get caught up on that very complicated line. I'm just kidding. It's not complicated. You know how to do that. Who's out there watching? Lots of people. I'm glad to see you all. If this is your first time drawing, first time joining us, check out YouTube and some other channels for, for more episodes. And uh, we'll get going. All right. Now. I want you to draw another line about like this. This again is going to be the base of our horse trophy. And then we are going to connect them down like that. Gotta have something for it to sit on. It's not perfectly straight. I know it looks like I did a, a, a mistake here and made it curved, but it's actually angled like that. So just keep trying that. <clears throat> now here's the secret with drawing. Anything. You look inside the image you're drawing and try to find shapes that you already know how to draw. Like we know how to draw a smiley face kind of curved line and stuff like that. Well this horse has some shapes that I know you already know how to draw. So it's not about learning new skills, it's just about applying the things you already know. So let's get started, okay? This is going to be the back of the horse's head, the back of his neck, and his shoulder blades here. So let's start with that. It's kind of an S shaped, okay? So if you go like this, go up and over and then S it back like this, okay? It's like a like a snake curvy line like that, okay? Maybe it looks a little bit like a guitar. Maybe it looks a little bit like a bowling pin. You just gotta find these shapes you already know how to draw. Alright. Next, we're gonna draw kind of a light bulb shape. Y'all know how a light bulb looks? Don't draw this yet. I'm just going to show you. It's got the bulb up here and it goes down here into the, the stem. 
kind of like this, right? This is a very rough looking light bulb, but you get the picture, right? It's that kind of shape. Well, that's sort of how a horse's head looks. And so what we're going to do, this also looks like a, a chicken a chicken leg too, but we're going to stick with the light bulb shape. Too many animals already in this show. We're going to go like this. You're going to draw this line over here and come down. And then you're going to go over here and do the same thing on this side. This line over here and come down. Don't connect them to the other line yet. A little bit like a wine glass, a little like an hourglass. See how the light bulb, the bulb parts up here and then the stalks down here? So we're already, I can already see the horse coming together in this drawing. Isn't that amazing? Just from three simple lines, I can already tell that we're going to be drawing a horse. All right. Next on the, the nose, I want you to do something like this. Now watch closely. I'm going to zoom in. We're going to have three little bumps like this. That's the bottom of its mouth. That's the tip of its nose. And then up here, this bump, that's the nostrils. Okay? So now, you have the horse's nose in there. If you're just joining us, we're drawing the trophy from Kentucky Speedway that we actually have a few of these at the race shop as as is shown here by Kyle Busch's big win a few years ago I believe that was during his championship run so look at that horse head trophy we're doing right there Kentucky Speedway now why does anybody know why they have a horse as their trophy at Kentucky Speedway put it in the comments I want to see if anybody knows out there next up it's the ears and once again a shape you already know how to draw a triangle that's how we're gonna draw the ears so you start up here and you lean them forward just a bit like this and then you bring them back down and you basically have a triangle made from a, a horse's ear isn't that pretty awesome pretty simple I knew you could do it alright now I'm gonna curve this hourglass up like this Kind of give it a jawbone there. Looks even more like a like a light bulb. How are yours turning out? I like reading your comments. Thanks for telling me where you're watching from and and what you're doing out there. It's good to see you all. I'm here in North Carolina. Nice day today. Gonna have some lunch here in a little bit, but first we're drawing, helping the time pass, learning some new things. I like to print out my drawings and give them as gifts. Maybe one day we'll do a little giveaway of some prints of my drawings, but I know friends out there like Jack and other people have given their drawings as gifts to Grandma and other people that they love, so that's a cool thing you can do. There's Chris out there asking about trivia. Chris, once we can get back in the race shop and get things a little more normal, we'll get trivia going again. Right now it's a little difficult. Todd says that, uh, that Kentucky's known for horses, yes, as the state. Devin's got it. Justin's got it. Andrew's got it. That's right. The Kentucky Derby is run there. The big, famous horse race. So, uh, so good job. And Luisa's in Germany. Thank you for watching from Germany, Luisa. It's very nice to meet you. All right, let's continue. Now we need the front of the neck here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of draw a, a shape like this. Very simple. Curved shape like that. Okay. Now on the back, I want to add some, well, it's not really hair, but on a real horse, it's hair. On this trophy, it's metal, but it's a little blade of hair just to simulate the hair, and it follows the same line we already drew and connects up there. So just draw that in there. Very cool Kentucky Speedway trophy here that we hope to win another one of this weekend. I'm really hoping that happens. We need a little change in fortune after Indianapolis. Woo! That was a tough one. Did you also know something special is built in Kentucky? Does anybody know what thing related to Joe Gibbs Racing is built in Kentucky? That's what we're going to draw tomorrow, but I want to see it come in the comments first. Okay, back to it. We're almost done. This horse has a checkered flag flying off the back of his head on this trophy. That's the artistic design they went with here. So what we want to do is draw some more S shapes. A lot of S shapes in this one. 
and we're going to just make a flag here. This doesn't have to be perfect to how it really looks. All we need to do is make sure it looks like a flag so that people understand what we're doing. It's got a couple curves like this. All right. We've drawn several checkered flags on this show. If you need the full lesson, go back and check out some of the episodes on YouTube and whatnot. But uh, that's actually going to be a flag. It doesn't look like one yet, but it's going to be. What we need to do is we need to draw some checkered boxes in there, right? So this same line that you followed, I want you to draw it twice within the flag, like this. The same line, just follow it again two times like that okay and then cut this line in half with that same line like that got it I know you got it one of the coolest things is to see how you all are, are doing out there with your drawings so make sure you you send them in put them in the comments when you're done and I'll share them on future shows okay we haven't done that lately so we need to do a little show and tell here pretty soon all right, a lot of people watching. That's great to see. Hope you're enjoying it. Our checkered flag is coming together. There's Steve out there watching. Regine's watching. Of course, Danny's out there. We saw him already. There's Jeff. He's in Pennsylvania. And Devin got the answer right. So did Andrew. So did Steven. Toyota Camry is built in Kentucky. You believe that? So we always find it special to go to Kentucky. It's like our home race because the Toyota Camry is built there in America, in Kentucky, and uh, I've actually gotten to go into the factory where they build those Camrys, and it's one of, the, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Super organized, super clean, uh, super efficient, just cars rolling off there minute after minute. Really amazing. Okay, you saw I drew some lines up opposite of the other lines to make the checkered, the checkered pattern. And we're going to fill in every other one, okay? So I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to fill that one in in black. Then I'll come over here. And I'll fill the other one in black. See, I'm just skipping one. See how there's one, two, three, four, five here? Well, I would color this one black, that one black, and that one black. And that's going to be helping us make a, uh, a checkered flag. Just skip every other one. Sometimes it takes a while to color things in. If you can't go as fast as I can, that's okay. Just save it for the end. Don't fall behind. Just just mark the ones that you want to color in later. And uh, we'll get to them at the end, right? We're actually going to use a lot of gray because this is a silver trophy. So we're going to later come in with some gray. But there we have the basics of our trophy. What's up, Lynn? Good to see you. Janet, good to see you out there. I see Janet's a Denny Hamlin fan. Thank you for that. Now we want to put some more details in this horse face so it's not just an outline. We want to make sure we have the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And they're not very detailed on the trophy and that's okay. But as you can see, they're there. See the, the eye and the jaw and the nose and the mouth. A little bit of the ear and the shoulder. We want to get those in there. So we're going to do that. So in the mouth, all you need is a, you just need a little line in here like this kind of a banana shape and the nose is just gonna go something like this it's not very it's not perfected you can just do a scribbly line and, and get it in general and you'll be okay the jaw makes kind of a moon shape right here see that and then the eye is up here cuts like that oh, I forgot another animal we drew Oscar Eric Jones's dog Oscar. We do, that's another animal. I can't believe how many animals we've drawn, but I, I love race cars. I love animals, so it makes sense that that we've merged them in this show. I'm also going to put the shoulder over here. There you go. And really, that's it for our horse. Now, if you want to you want to keep practice on horses, try to find a picture of a horse and draw the whole body. That's when it gets really challenging. A horse's body is muscular and has a lot of complicated lines. Maybe we'll do that next time, but. If you want to take a new challenge after having drawn the head of a horse for this trophy, try to draw the body. Alright. Looks like people are enjoying this one. Got a lot of drawers out there. Who do you think is going to win this weekend? Well, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a JGR car, but which one? Or maybe you're cheering for somebody else. We'll forgive you. 
All right. Steve's a big Eric Jones fan. I like Eric too. He's awesome. He's he's had some bad luck, but uh, he's going to come around. I'm telling you, he's going to turn it around. And that team is going to win a couple this year, I think. All right. Looking pretty good out there. Thank you for the retweets. Thanks for sharing with your friends. Thanks for drawing along. You know, I think that's about it for our, our horse trophy. Tomorrow we're going to get back to drawing cars. I'm going to color this one in. I'm going to grab some gray. If you have a pencil, just push in a little, a little more lightly. Okay? And make a gray color. Because this is silver, what we need to do is not color everything the same gray color. We want to have dark grays and light grays and medium grays and all the in-betweens to make it more metal looking, right? So what I like to do is I like to follow these lines, follow our lines and just kind of kind of fill them in with different things like so. I'm just kind of sketching it in. This trophy is very, uh, what would you call it? It's, it's artistic. It's it's not a polished trophy. It has more of a rough cut, which is not a bad thing. It's just a style. I like it, actually. And so it doesn't have to be perfect. Really kind of just following our shapes here like this. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pick a lighter color, a lighter gray. Kind of fill in that area in there. Just kind of give it some life with a lighter gray. It's looking pretty good. Come back in here with a lighter gray, just to give it a silver kind of look. Besides the race car, it's all about winning that trophy, isn't it? So it makes sense that we draw trophies to go along with our race car drawings. And really, the main part about drawing is to tell a story. So sometimes you need something like a trophy to help tell the story that the race car is going through, right? Sometimes a race car just by itself on a track doesn't tell a full story, so, so it helps to have the trophy in there. All right. And then the base is more of a wood color, so I'm going to go with a brown down here. Just going to fill that in and again, I'm going to pick a medium brown and a light brown and a dark brown, and that's going to help it look more like wood. It's going to give it more texture. Like that. And then I'll pick a darker brown and go like that. And that kind of looks like some wood grain. I mean, it's not perfect, but you definitely know it's not metal, right? There you go. All right. See, we got the wood grain down there. We got the metal horse. Heck, if you want to draw an M&M's package in there, if you're a Kyle Busch fan and you think he's going to win again, go right ahead. Other than that, I'm going to draw a little background. Now I'm going to make it blue because we got a lot of blue going on in the show today with my outfit and my hat and we're racing in the bluegrass state. And I figure, well, let's put some blue in there. So we're going to we're going to put some blue in the background just to make it make it pop a little bit, make it look like it's not all black and white here. All right. Filling in some blue. Again, I can fill in pretty quickly with an iPad. You might have to take some more time on on yours and that's okay. Just take your time, save it for the end, be patient, and go back in and fill it as you need to. When I was a kid I didn't like coloring in things because it took too long and I was I was just happy with the shapes. So if you don't like to color in that's okay. But if you do just, just show some patience. Maybe give it a couple days to try it and uh, you'll be able to finish it up. There we go. The Kentucky Speedway Trophy. I hope we win another one this weekend. I'm really looking forward to the race. I hope you are too. Please do tune in and cheer for our Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota Camrys. Tomorrow, we're going to draw a Toyota Camry being built at the George, Georgetown, Kentucky facility. That's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you'll join us for that. Once again, thanks for watching. I see there's Archie out there. There's Justin. Thank you to all the friends who always... Uh, watching. There's Christine, Steve. We're having a lot of fun. 
supporting our, our fans and, and drawing some things. So thank you for joining me. This is Boris signing out. I will uh, see you tomorrow.